Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to do the basic initial configuration of a TP-Link router. So you need to connect to the router Wi-Fi network and use admin and admin as a username and password. That is the default admin password. And click on next. Select the type of ISP you have. Like if it is providing a static IP, use static IP. If it's giving dynamic IP, click on dynamic IP. I have a static IP, so I will configure my static IP. I'm putting on, on all the details. So for DNS, you can use either Google's DNS or the DNS that is provided by your service provider. You can use a hell lot of uh, DNS servers that are available online. You can search on Google for free DNS servers and you will get a whole bunch of it. Just click on next and you are good to go. The next thing you can do is you can rename the Wi-Fi network that you are creating. You can change the Wi-Fi SSID and create a password that is secure for yourself. For better signal management, you can select the country that you are currently living in. Set up the password, click on next and your settings will be saved. Now you need to connect to the network that you have just created because the network that you were created connected to was of initial TP-Link network. Now you need to connect to the Wi-Fi network of that you have just created. So I'm trying to <coughs> ping Google, but I'm not able to because there may be two reasons. I'm not currently connected to the network that I have configured. And second, I'm not logged on to my ISP server. Because sometimes what happens is your ISP gives a username and password to you so that you and only you can connect to that network. So I will check if my Wi-Fi is connected to the connect network or not. And secondarily, I will go to the ISP's website, log in with my username and password, and then I will check if I'm able to access any website or not. So I've just logged on to the website of my ISP. Now we'll try to open Google and see if it works. So it's working fine now. I'm able to access internet. I'll try to ping Google once just to check what is the latency I'm receiving. And it's normal for me. Now I will check if I'm getting the same speed that my ISP has promised me or not. So for that, I will go to ISP speed test uh, website and check what is the speed um, that I am receiving. I should normally get something between 20 and 30 because 20 is the normal download speed which I should get and 30 is the pairing speed that I should get from either YouTube or some similar websites. So it depends upon the speed test which file it is using. If it's using the file of YouTube, it should show me a speed of 30 Mbps uh, or else it should show me 20 Mbps. So hope uh, you like this video. Thank you so much.